हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर कंजर्वेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द चैप्टर इन द लास्ट वीडियो क्लास आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट टाइगर प्रोजेक्ट हुज मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव वाज टू प्रोटेक्ट द टाइगर्स इन द कंट्री बट आर द टाइगर्स स्टिल फाउंड इन दिस फॉरेस्ट दिस इज अ बिग क्वेश्चन tiger is one of the many species which are slowly disappearing from our forest but the satpura tiger reserve is unique because it has increasing population of tigers once upon a time like an animals like lions elephants wild buffaloes and barasingas were also found in the satpura national park but they are almost none now over there the animals whose numbers are diminishing to a level that they might face extinction are known as endangered animals or endangered species those who are considered to be at the risk of extinction meaning that there are so few left of their kind that they could disappear from the planet altogether you just remember about the dinosaur which became extinct a long time ago and this has happened because the survival of some animals has become difficult because of the disturbance in their habitat by the human beings to protect these plants and animals in a forest strict rules are imposed in all national parks activities like grazing poaching hunting capturing of animals or collection of firewoods medicinal plants etc are not allowed there and is that only the big animals are facing these problems no not only the big animals the small creatures the small animals are also in trouble in danger of becoming extinct than the bigger animals as snakes frogs lizard bats and owls are getting killed trivially without realizing their importance in the ecosystem by killing them we are harming ourselves as their role in the ecosystem cannot be ignored you have studied in class 7 that the part they are belonging to a food chain and a food web and they, that's why they are making up the ecosystem now a question is there what is an ecosystem an ecosystem is made up of all the plants and animals and microorganisms in an area along with non living components such as climate soil river deltas etc these all togetherly living and non living makes up an ecosystem that's all for today's video go through the ncert books also thank you